The WRC all set for a third visit to Croatia and it promises to be another eventful weekend if the first two outings are anything to go by. You have, I would say, three types of tarmac uh, in Croatia, one very slippery, uh, one with a high grip, it's the one you have uh, not so much during the race and you have a middle one. Uh, this one, it's, uh, I would say, 70% of the race. You have some part where it can be very slippery and tricky and you need to be very precise in your pace now to know where exactly you have to be cautious and where you have to push. Probably Croatia is, is quite an interesting event, really quite difficult one. You have a lot of, uh, lot of cuts and usually quite a lot of dirt on the road, even when it's dry. So definitely not the easiest tarmac rally, a lot of grip chains, but the stages itself are quite cool. You have a lot of elevation on the stages, some crests and jumps, which is not so normal on tarmac rally. So it's quite technical, but, uh, but fast rally. I, I like it. One of the biggest challenges in, in Croatia was the, to understand and, and try to read the, the, the tarmac, the surface. As the grip level is changing suddenly and I cannot recognize any difference on the, on the surface itself. So this was a bit exciting, let's say. During the recce, as, as you don't know where the grip will change and then you come with a rally car and, and suddenly you, you lose the grip and, and you just don't know why. Um, that's why it's quite demanding rally. Surface changes, an integral part of the challenge in Croatia, a world away from the ultra-smooth tarmac of, say, Catalonia. Throw in changeable weather, as witnessed last year, and tyre choice becomes all the more important. It always depends, first at all, um, if the weather situation is uh, clear or very unclear what uh, weather information you get from your weather guy and from that point on um, yeah you have to make a clever choice most of the time it's going to, to go for a compromise um, because obviously it's very risky to go for full performance on one stage with the risk to to lose everything on the upcoming stage you're always running the risk to make a wrong choice and and lose crucial time uh, in the fight for for a good result Quite a few ingredients, of course. If it's dry, then it tends to be a bit more straightforward. But of course, sometimes you have to cover the, the chance of rain uh, because it's never sure whether it'll rain or not. So that's always a consideration. Uh, the mileage, of course, and the abrasion of the tarmac. So quite a few things to, to consider. Elvin Evans, so close to winning on that first visit to Croatia two years ago, denied on the final corner of the weekend, losing out to Toyota teammate Sebastian Auger by just six tenths of a second, the third closest finish in the sport's history. The Frenchman, fresh from victory in Mexico, with the benefits of a clean road as he leads them into the stages on his return to Croatia, looking to make it three wins from three outings this year. The aim is to be competitive, that's always the same, even if, uh, even if the mindset is different uh, with, without the championship, I, I still have the same aim to, to perform my best and, and score some wins and some good points for the team. So, uh, yeah, um, Croatia, I remember, is, is, a, is, is a difficult one, but recently I've been pretty strong on tarmac, like uh, the speed was, was really good in the last three tarmac rallies. So, Maybe my little circuit racing excursion helped me to be even sharper, maybe on, on tarmac. So uh, um, yeah, it was it was kind of natural for for the team and me to decide to to go back to Croatia.